Hello, and welcome to today's introduction to Rational Developer I. My name is Edmund Reinhardt, and I've been a product architect for a number of years, and I'm happy to introduce you to this tool that is known to save people about 20 to 25% productivity over current uh, green screen uh, um, techniques. If you have been using green screen techniques like SEU and SDA, it's really time to move forward to the current millennium. You will get so much more. Uh, it's like uh, using an automated tool instead of the old hammer and nails. You can just have better quality, better control, and access to so much more. You know, let me give you a little flavor for what, what you get. First of all, you lose nothing. Uh, if you're familiar with the old keystrokes and ways of doing things, you can still enter options and you can still have the same keystroke. You still even have line uh, commands in the editor, but the editor now can see many, many more lines. In fact, you can drag and drop and split and see, uh, um, in fact, as you can see here, a WYSIWYG uh, DDS layout tool, uh, much better than SDA. And uh, you also see an outline view there that was able to not only understand on a keystroke basis the, the structure of your program, but where all the variables are used, resolved on the host, all that kind of good stuff. And you don't even have to look over at the outline view. You can see in this inobtrusive hover right in front of you all the information about the current variable, what its type is, where it was found, uh, how the record was renamed, on the, whether on the F spec or through an I spec. It's all right here in front of you including the comments and the parameters of uh, procedures and subroutines, et cetera. This uh, idea of tightly integration, all the information extends to the compiler feedback and syntax feedback. As you type, you'll get little hovers explaining exactly what's wrong and why. And this is so much better than uh, being, you know, having to go into work spool file and hunt through uh, compile errors using F16, here you have it at a single keystroke, Control Shift C, you've submitted your compile, you get the feedback and it's right there and you can navigate between your errors with another keystroke. Um, so we've uh, been in improving this all along and we're getting great new features. For example, we wanna help you modernize your code. We support the, the new syntax, of course, of Freeform, which of course SEU does not, as it's still stuck at V6R1. Well, we can take this and we can start to help you uh, refactor this into more man maintainable code. It's not just a matter of going to the new syntax, it's about structuring it. So here, you grab a few lines of code that could be reused. You say refactor, extract procedure. We pop you into this wizard where you can customize the names uh, of things to, to be more, and you see all within this wizard, all the features and bells and whistles of procedures. And then out comes uh, a procedure that's completely reusable and it can be linked uh, and bound not only within this, um, called within this uh, particular module, but of course using ILE, it can be bound externally and made available externally as well. We also help you rename your variables because we understand, we know exactly what's going on and what is indeed a variable name versus a literal and, and uh, we can, because we have that complete understanding of your code, we can, you can refactor and clean up and maintain with confidence. Not only do we understand within a source file, we can understand relationships outside the call structure, the, the ILE bind structure, and we can visualize this for you to help you manage your large code base. <clears throat> the benefits go beyond uh, compile and edit uh, to debug as well. We have a very rich debugger, which is uh, where some people really get their 25% uh, productivity you can see the variables, you can see what's changed. You can even say uh, stop whenever this variable is changed. To, I don't know who's stomping on it. So you have a real powerful debugger experience and you can get into it using service entry breakpoints. And here's a new feature that's just come out this year. You can even set a condition. So when this program is called with my user ID and this parameter is this value. So you can differentiate between many calls to your program and and have it pop up just when you need. We use this same debug technology, not only uh, for debugging, but we can also use it for code coverage. So we can determine exactly which lines were hit, which procedures were hit. But during a particular test run, you can see your, your, the effectiveness of your test, you can see what code is dead, and you can guarantee that you're actually 
uh, covering uh, your new enhancements. We can, uh, because it's based on Eclipse, and Eclipse is designed from the bottom up to be an extensible um, framework. You've got lots of other goodness from IBM, the Data Studio uh, integration points with ACS uh, for running your SQL. In fact, we have lots of great SQL enhancement. We validate your SQL, format it. But uh, we also have lots of things that customers, uh, business partners, and other contributors to Eclipse like great Git support is available. And all of that because we're in an extensible framework. Here's an example of the validation of even embedded SQL that is being put in. So all this information about RDI, you've got a one-stop shop here uh, with uh, this RDI hub. And here's a simple link to it. Uh, one of the things that I suggest you go to right away is the try IBM Rational Developer I. This is a 120-day risk-free trial. Um, don't have to put in a credit card or anything. You just download it. It's fully functional. There's no limits on it. It's just that it's, it's uh, time limited. And uh, go ahead and try it and see if you don't get uh, the benefits that uh, of all this productivity. Um, like I said, customers' experience are 20 to 25 percent, so you'll get it back within a few months, <clears throat> depending on your salary and and whether you take the t time to to do the appropriate learning and training. Uh, here are the order codes to actually order it. Whether you can order it through Passport, if you want to have a software only license, you can also order it. Uh, through your hardware ordering mechanism or your hardware business partner, as well through eConfig, and that works as well. We have two packages. The, the base one is all the IBM I languages, um, and then there's an extended one that does the uh, J2EE uh, Java Enterprise Edition type of support uh, and for, for web uh, servers and uh, web application servers, and that's uh, a little bit more and that's a, this additional feature code. So I hope this gives you a feel for the power, the promise, and of course, I'm just scratching the surface here. There's plenty of YouTubes uh, from IBM and our business partners extolling uh, the benefits and helping you learn this quickly. Hope you enjoy this.